Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 5.15 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, October 12th, 2013. And I've got you over here on my Facebook page. I also have Tat on uh, the cell phone here. And the reason I've got Tat on the phone, guys, is because I put out a post here. I was posting some music, just having a good time today. And a situation has been developing over the past couple weeks that is, um, well, it's kind of disturbing, okay? And I just have to take you through and tell you the story as it happened to me and uh, to Tattoot as well. So uh, the story involves Tattoot and a few other people who I'm not going to name. I'm going to leave everybody else out of it. But I'm going to tell you how it happened to me, what happened to me, what's being offered, and possibly maybe try to influence you guys in the future when a decision must be made. Okay, so let me get into this. Um, throughout my time on YouTube, there have been different groups and different people that have developed, different clubs of people, that uh, friends that develop where they talk behind the scenes on Skype, and we share information. It's, you know, we all talk. Video makers, uh, a lot of us talk behind the scenes. And a group has come forward with a plan that involves the incorporation of YouTube channels such as my own and Tattoot, and we were both offered the same thing by this group, which is an opportunity to take part in this program they're going to be rolling out over the next near-term future. We don't know the time frame, but the plan is something that's so strange, so weird, so hard to swallow, a pill that's just so hard to swallow, that I myself didn't believe it when it was being put forth to me a few months ago. Um, the plan is so deep and so large and involves so many people that are already taking part in this that that is leading me to make this video. Now, I'm not trying to cast any aspersions on the people that are doing this. Like I said, a lot of good people are taking part in this. I personally can't due to my own personal religious convictions. Now, this involves several deep aspects of belief that is preventing me from taking part in what's being offered. Um, one of the things that's being offered is a chance to take part in a media revolution that's going to be happening online and in mainstream media. It's, according to the people that are presenting this, financed by hundreds of billions of dollars but not dollars, actually foreign currency, but it translates out to hundreds of billions, if not more, behind this push. And the push is going to involve a huge rollout of things that, to me, at the time when it was proposed, sounded preposterous. And to Tattoot, I'm sure, didn't it sound crazy to you too, Tat? Uh, yeah, it still sounds crazy. Yes, it still sounds crazy to me as well. And what sounds crazy is... Well, first of all, large sums of money were involved, and I'm not going to get into the money till the end of this video, but money is involved, and more importantly, message presenting is involved. A message is trying to be crafted in such a way to win over the hearts and minds of average people who are now distrustful of mainstream media, and to infiltrate and take over mainstream media, as well as take over the banking system itself. Now, there's an oath that must be sworn. It involves the United Nations. It involves providing um, your passport and a thumbprint and other things that are used to give you UN diplomatic immunity. And that's what was offered to myself and to Tattooed, as well as other things. We were offered UN diplomatic immunity. Now, of course, that requires us to turn over a copy of our passport and a thumbprint. Tattoot and I talked behind the scenes after this, and we decided that one of us should be expendable and do the experiment to find out if it's real. If, is this real? Um, are you really going to get a UN diplomat's immunity? Are you really going to get these large sums of money that are being presented? And we've come to find out that the UN diplomatic immunity has been issued to one of the people involved with this 
operation. Now, I'm not going to get into names, but I can tell you that this sent a shot across my bow as to whether or not this is real because they're actually doling out, supposedly, I'm, get, I'm getting an electronic copy to review for myself and see for sure, is this for real? Now, in the near-term future, what I think is going to be happening and what has been presented to me as needing my help with is this media push to explain to you guys what the plan is for y'all, for you guys, for every one of you. Uh, there is a plan being developed that is going to shape and control your entire life according to this group. This is I'm not adding anything in on my own, guys. This is all according to their own words. This is what was presented to me and why I can't take part and why I put this out, this whole post here on Facebook, which I'll put a link to down below, is that strange things are afoot in the face of a worldwide catastrophe. Now, why is it a catastrophe? Well, what I think is happening is that a, uh, this plan involves control of your financial life. It involves large, vast sums of money that would be transferred to each person um, that would be involved. And that's just one aspect of this. We're talking multiple facets on this. It's a push through the United Nations, and you're not going to believe me, and that's what I say in this post here, is you are not going to believe me when I tell you what this means, who's involved. Now, the group that's involved, and I hate to have to name their name, but I have to in order to tell you how far back this goes and what it could possibly mean. The group that's involved is the infamous, well-known, uh, highly skeptical White Dragon Society out of Asia, specifically partnered up with something called the One People's Public Trust. The One People's Public Trust is a group that, quite frankly, I think, endorses New Age beliefs. It's a group that is pushing, well, Thelemism, T-H-E-L-E-M-I-C, Thelemic, Thelemism, which is tied in with, of all people, Aleister Crowley. Do what thou wilt is the whole of the law, according to Aleister Crowley, 666, right? One of the craziest guys to ever live. Well, unfortunately, the oath that you have to swear to the One People's Public Trust, who's working with the White Dragon Society, directly involves a swearing to that philosophy. You also have to swear to be able to take over or to take part in the overthrow of the central banking system in which the funds that are seized at each bank are then redistributed to the world. We're talking large sums of money that would be distributed out. We're not talking a few thousand dollars. We're talking millions of dollars they're proposing to be giving to each person. Where I'm going with this, guys, is that I can't take part in something that involves the transfer of millions of dollars, if not billions. I can't take part in something that's pushing a worldwide takeover of currency and redistribution of full wealth to the entire population of the planet. The reason being is that I feel that the money that has been earned by some corporations and some people is rightfully earned and it should not be taken and redistributed to people who might not well deserve it. Furthermore, I can't take part in a crafted message. I can't take part in some kind of rollout of a plan to, ex to explain to the population why they need this. It became real for me when they started issuing the diplomatic passes. Up until then, it was really just a story. Now, to me, it's something that's getting ready to be rolled out, and it's being done by the White Dragon Society. Now, we need to look into the White Dragon Society. You guys need to go look into this. You need to go look up the history of the White Dragon Society, and you'll find out that they were originally the Black Dragon Society. You know, World War II, Hirohito, the rise of Hirohito, the financing of Adolf Hitler pre-World War II? Why did Hitler choose the swastika? Could it be because of the Black Dragon Society, formerly known as the Green Dragon Society, formerly known as the Red Dragon Society, going back through World War I and the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand? Really? Or how about the Freemasons that dressed up as Indians and took and threw the tea into Boston Harbor? 
Turns out, they met at the Green Dragon Tavern. These groups have been involved with the shaping of society for a very long time. They were involved in World War I, involved in World War II, and I urge you to look into the colors that they used. Red, green, black, and white. They claim to have a 200 million man army. Per their own words, that's not me, that's them. 200 million man army. Put the colors together with the 200 million and the distribution of wealth around the world and it starts to look like a real problem. And I'm not a religious guy. I'm not one to go push my religious beliefs. It's starting to sound biblical. But they could be going through the motions. They could be going through the actions. They might be using it as a script, trying to enact those things. But this is so weird. And the fact that they would try and embrace me and embrace Tattooed and get us involved, that to me is the final straw. I've got to say something. I've got to warn you guys that this could be coming. Now, damned if I do, damned if I don't. It's so weird. Such a large plan. The money that's involved is just huge. But there you go, guys. I have a way of stepping into these things. I, I couldn't explain it. They want me because of my voice. They told me they want me because of my voice and my audience. I had to send them a whole bunch of stuff, which I did, just to find out more about what's going on. Now, I haven't joined, and I'm not going to. Uh, I found out as much as I quite possibly could, and I'm sure I probably offended a lot of people by going into what I've gone into. I only have a 15-minute limit on this video, so I'm going to try and keep it short. But I hope you guys go look into these things. Alistair Crowley, Thalamic, Do What Thou Wilt, the OPPT Oath, the White Dragon Society, the Black Dragon Society, the Green Dragon Society, the Red Dragon Society, all being the same society, and they've changed the name over the years. The Black Dragon Society was classified as a Japanese paramilitary organization and still is from World War II. Okay? So those are the people that are getting ready to finance this huge operation. I would urge everybody who's currently involved to please go look into these things. And if you've taken the oath and signed it and put your fingerprint on it, you need to disregard the oath and move on. And bring forth the information that you know and put it into a video. You don't have to implicate yourself or anybody else. Don't use any names. There's a lot of video makers currently involved, guys. A lot. Several. A lot of people know about this but haven't spoke up. Why? They're scared to sound like fools because they know it sounds biblical. <laughs> they know it sounds like revelations. The red, blue, black, green, 200 million man army, world currency, world new world order. I mean, but there it is. It's for real. They offered it to me and to Tattoo. So, you know, Tat, you got anything else you want to add? I mean, I just explained the whole thing, but um, do you have anything you want to say to this? It's weird. It's just weird. 